Okay, so we've made a beer with ingredients from gin in it because we make gin together, which happened to have hops in it. So we, we've got a bit of a, a bit of a story. Tell us about um, your gin that you started out with before we first met. Go. Uh, so this is a product called Viani. Uh, it's a, quite a citrus forward gin. Uh, my dad, John Sexton, created it about 12 years ago, and uh, we've been selling it in the market since uh, 2011. So one of the first craft gins in New Zealand. Yeah. And then we met, um, we came up with the crazy idea of making a, a hop gin. And, and, it, and it is crazy. <laughs> it, it really is, it's uh, 5150. What, what's in this one? Uh, just juniper and hops. A lot of hops. So we've had this for a number of years. A few people out there have tasted it at some of the events that we've done and tastings. But um, the packaging's evolved as we've expen extended the range of uh, different gins that we've got. And that's the, the new bottle there. Uh, it's now a 500 ml bottle and it's uh, part of a, a larger series of uh, new and other interesting and crazy botanicals. But because we've got a gin IPA, we thought we'd make a bad gin IPA just to confuse you. So we now have gin IPA, but it's actually pronounced juniper, which is a play on the word juniper. Um, and we've used uh, some very gin and tonic like ingredients to make this beer. Hello, Steve speaking. I, I, can't, I can't hear anything at all. Are you there? Okay, ah, it's not. It's not. Sorry about that, guys. So today we're going to be adding some juniper to the mix. Uh, juniper is the main ingredient of gin, and we've got a little bit here, so... Mmm, piney resinous goodness. Here we've got a little bit of cinchona bark. Uh, cinchona bark is used in uh, tonic water. We're also adding a little bit of cardamom to this mix. It's a really spicy ingredient that's pretty commonly used in gin, so... Mmm, delicious. Big, big aroma from that cardamom. It's really important uh, when you're carrying all this stuff up the stairs, you've got to be pretty fit. Uh, at Epic we like to use the kegs, uh, just really get in shape. Wow, what, what have we done here? This beer and this gin might actually make a very nice drink when you pour them into the same glass. I challenge you to try it. Largest gin collection in New Zealand, 200 different gins. We've got two major gin events coming up in the coming weeks. We've got Gin Indulgence in Christchurch on the 24th of March, and from the 4th of April to the 14th of April is Gin Jubilee in Auckland. So it's an opportunity to try both of these products. Come and see us in Christchurch or in Auckland and have a bit of a taste. And if you want to find out more, check out Gin Zealand on Facebook, Instagram, or ginzealand.co.nz because that's where all the news about gin is happening. Gin Zealand! So when you're making a gin and tonic, it's not just about your favourite tonic. Different tonics for different gins. So you need a selection of as many as you can get your hands on. So we have all of them. Everything that we've been able to find. And um, we've got to keep them cold, so here's a converted beer fridge. Which is a little sad, some people say, but hey. When you're making a gin and tonic, you want that perfect combination of gin and tonic. that just marries together, so you have wonderful, tasty awesomeness.